the talks of me coming back to WWE, it's one of those things where I know you guys want a yes or no answer. And the truth is, what's up you guys? I am a WWE superstar. For those that don't know me, I am Natalie Eva Marie, and this video, we have to start at the beginning, shall we? So, to get into the nitty gritty of me and WWE, for those that don't know, and you're gonna hear my chickens in the background, but that's because we are on a farm, so just bear with me, and if they cock a doodle do. So, for me, it started in 2019. That's when my life completely changed. Um, things were not looking good for me. I was definitely at a low point in my life. I had just gotten out of rehab um, and on the brinks of my third time trying to get sober. But luckily for me, I also was trying to put things back into place, I guess you could say. And I went on an open audition for to become the next WWE diva. We're not called divas anymore. We are called superstars. But it was an open audition in Los Angeles at their HQ. I walk in and I'm like, oh my gosh this is like wwf back when i used to watch it with my brothers hulk hogan era and then everything started to click for me i was like wow this has everything that i want to do infused into one job not only do you have to be an athlete be able to handle all the physicality required in the squared circle um you get to perform in front of a live audience create a character so you're acting and then you get to travel the world and do a ton of philanthropy work, which WWE does an amazing job. Um, military is huge to me, so I'm like, oh my gosh, this is it. Like, if I can get this job, this is everything to me. Like, this is, this is where I want to put all my eggs in the basket. So I met Jonathan right at that same time. So things were, I would say, a little hectic, but in the best possible way. So um, I go into this open audition, I get the first callback, and then I get called back for a physical in-ring tryout. First day of tryouts, I was like, holy cow, this is insane. I've never wrestled in my life. Um, doing anything inside the ring was totally crazy for me because I'm a field athlete. Soccer was my sport, I played in college. So doing just even basic forward roles was like, oh shit, this is like, this is the real deal. Four girls quit immediately on day one and I'm like god please like can I please get this and all it was was if you made it after the four weeks of the physical in-ring tryout you would get a developmental contract and at the time WWE's developmental uh, facility was in Tampa Florida so all that meant was you would get a developmental contract move to Tampa and then work on learning how to wrestle work on building your character and all the things that you need to to basically learn to become a WWE superstar and then hope and pray that you get called up to the main roster which is as we all know Monday Night Raw or Friday Night Smackdown and I was like okay let's balls to the wall we're doing this four weeks boom finished I got the developmental contract you guys don't understand there's certain times in your life where there are pivotal moments and there are ones where you put so much time and effort and you're like, God, this will change my life. Like this is, this is it. And for me, I will never forget the moment that I got that developmental contract because I was with Jojo, who you guys know from seeing on Total Divas, the reality show season one, we walked through that journey together. And so she is a part of my journey and story that I will cherish for the rest of my life because we got to experience it together from, from day one, like the physical in-ring tryout, to then going getting our developmental contracts together, um, moving to Tampa, we were roommates. You guys have to see all this kind of like play out. But at the same time, we both were super lucky because WWE was doing the Total Divas reality show and then they were looking to cast two more girls that never wrestled, had no idea about the business and um, were basically just kind of fresh talent to kind of throw into the mix. Basically, they were smart. They wanted to pick two brand new girls to cause, uh, you know, a little, I would say, drama maybe, um, which you all know definitely kind of happened. But I went on that separate audition, went to Buna Murray Studios in Los Angeles, sat down, got drilled 
for like three hours basically they're just asking you about yourself all of these things and the producer says to me okay thank you so much if you do get this job your life can change within 72 hours and I was like <sighs> I remember calling Jonathan and there's only like honestly maybe twice in my life that I've had this feeling when I walked out of that room I was like I'm gonna fucking murder that like I got this job I call Jonathan I tell him like how everything went he tells me okay we hop in the car drive to the Bay Area this is like extra information but I feel like it's kind of important just because um you guys you guys are just rolling with me you're rolling with me on this journey um, we drive to my parents' house the first time my parents met Jonathan. He asked my dad for his permission to marry me. So he asked for my hand in marriage. First time meeting my father, by the way. But within 24 hours that I left that audition, I got the call. Hey, uh, Natalie and Marie, just to let you know, you got the job. I was like, <laughs> you guys. You don't understand, so my parents are everything to me. So the fact that I was in the Bay Area 24 hours after I had left that audition and I had already gotten my developmental contract, but this was something that was going to um, basically skip developmental and put me, bam, straight onto the main roster. This doesn't happen, it's insane. It's like a once in a lifetime type thing. I don't think it'll ever happen in uh, WWE ever again. So the fact I got that call I can't explain the excitement because I was at such a low point in my life that this was like, God, thank you so much. Like, th it's happening. Like, my life is changing for the better. So within 48 hours, boom, I was on a plane into uh, WrestleMania. WrestleMania was my first day on the job, which is insane. Think about WrestleMania is the Super Bowl of WWE. It's like the biggest event. It's amazing. If you guys have not watched WrestleMania, you are missing out from just production to talent to like everything. It's, it's seriously amazing. So that's how my journey began in 2013. And we started filming the reality show. I filmed six seasons of Total Divas and I'm truly thankful for it because um, it gave me the platform that I have today. Um, and being in WWE is something that has changed my life. That's why I know a lot of you guys have tuned into this video of like, is she coming back and what's happening? But I just wanted to give a little cliff notes of how I got here, how it all started. So in 2013 is when it started. 2017 is when I left WWE. They gave me permission to do my first movie. That's when I dyed my hair black. Um, and you guys can watch the movie. It's inconceivable on uh, Netflix with Nick Nicolas Cage. Um, I did another movie. And then in 2021, I came back with pink hair. And uh, that's when I was with Dewdrop. And now Piper is her name, is her current uh, WWE name, which was freaking amazing. I love her. She's a stud, amazing athlete. Um, you guys know that I play a heel, so I play a bad guy. Everybody likes a bad guy, I think. And they're funnier to play. But I went back in 2021. Then WWE gave me permission to do my first action lead role, which hopefully it should come out this year in 2023. And when it, the talks of me coming back to WWE, it's one of those things where I know you guys want a yes or no answer. And the truth is it's maybe we have an ongoing relationship. I was just in talks to WWE studios talking about, you know, ideas and movies and TV. And then obviously that door is like, always open potentially of coming back who knows even marie could come back as you know like a, a dark kind of persona dye my hair back to black come in you never know that's what's so beautiful about wwe is it's a character you're you're creating uh something to entertain you guys whether it's happy mad where you want to punch the screen where you want to slap me whatever it may be that's the whole joy about watching the wwe programming so to give you a cut and dry answer it's a maybe um i'll always definitely i love wwe and the fact that i'm in talks with them right now and currently is amazing so hopefully you know when you guys go to bed at night i want you to think about possibly is she really is she coming back to Monday night raw and i could be coming back with black hair who knows that's the thing wwe can be whatever we want it to be whatever we create it so those are the cliff notes of what happened where we went how we came back where we are now 
and it's really important for me to kind of give you guys, especially anybody that doesn't know me and this is your first time on my channel, now you know, the clip notes. I just want to bring you guys along on the farm. Who knows, if I go back to WWE, I'm going to bring you guys with me on that journey. I'm going to bring you to movie sets. I'm going to bring you on workouts. I'm just going to keep bringing you guys wherever I go. You have given me so much that I want to continue kind of opening up my life to you guys right here on youtube every single wednesday i will be dropping videos all of your guys's feedback all of your comments whether they're good or bad whether they're good or bad you keep bringing them so i love you guys and i will see you in the next video wednesdays at three don't forget to subscribe put on my notifications all that stuff i'm trying to learn from these youtubers you know i'm trying to do the damn thing so also be kind because i'm filming myself a lot of the times and girl trying to get the lighting down, trying to make sure I'm getting my whole entire self in these videos. It is definitely a lot, but bear with me because we are learning. Mwah.